today we're going to be making bioplastic, which is kind of like a Play-Doh and you can mold it and shape it and make it any color you want and it is a lot of fun to make. Please make sure you have an adult present for this one because it is going to be using a microwave. We're going to need a clip seal bag and in our clip seal bag we are going to put one cup of corn flour and then we're going to put in one cup of water it's going to make a really sloppy mess and one teaspoon of oil you can use any cooking oil that you have around your house but just one teaspoon goes into the mix and now for the fun bit is we can put our color in I've already made a green one, this time I'm going to make a blue one. So you can put in a few drops of blue in there. Then we're going to just get, try and get rid of as much air as you can and we're going to seal up the clip seal bag like that. And then we are just going to play with it and smoosh it around until all the liquid and the corn flour are mixed together and this can be a bit tricky because the corn flour likes to play little games with the water <laughs> but once you've got it all that water all mixed in with the corn flour then you can pop it in the microwave for one minute on high now depending on what type of microwave you have you might have to put it in for a little bit longer if it does come out a bit too mushy well then you might need to put it in a bit longer so when putting it in the microwave we just need to open the seal up just a little bit but a little tip from what I did earlier because I made it go everywhere is that you'll just need something there to prop it up to hold it I used a rolled up bit of paper towel just to put along there to hold it up. You could use a bottle cap. As you can see, it nearly came out there then as well. I'll go that way. Yeah, so that just, just so you've got that little bit of a lip there so it doesn't all just pour out. Once it comes out of the microwave, you'll need to wait for it to cool down because it is going to be very hot from being heated up in the microwave and this is where your adult comes really in handy and they'll let you know when you can touch it and when it's safe to touch it but if it's still a bit sticky when it comes out the first time you can pop it in for a bit longer and just judge it from there but you should end up with some play-doh like this that's it for Steam today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have fun making this Play-Doh and make different colors and make some really great creations out of it. And I will see you next time.